you know, with verbal skills, you're going to talk to more people than you're going to shoot. So you should practice verbal skills. And you already know if the guy's bringing a gun up, pointed at you, there's nothing to talk about. It's like the cowboy movie. There's a time to talk and a time to shoot. Okay. Cops got to have verbal judo. We're going to stand around and talk to people. Okay. That's the great thing about being a civilian. I just wait until shit went so far south. There's no other way out of the hole except shoot them. Pow. There you go. Okay. <laughs> this is like the great thing, the redeeming value of being a civilian puke. Okay. When I was a cop, you had to talk to you. Sir, we put your hands always in the Now you just like saying thing where I don't like it. Now he's bringing some. Oh, okay. So okay. it sounds funny, but there's actually some merit to it. Okay. These skills can be backed by physical skills. Okay. Good. So a good way of having physical skills is don't eat shit bigger than your head. Okay. Go for a walk once in a while. Try to take care of yourself. I've had people go like, "You're really pissed off, man. You said like I was a fat guy in your video. That's not what I said." What I'm trying to get across to you, do you think people are going to give you in a fight, a break in a fight because you're overweight, because your leg is broke, because your neck is broke, because you forgot your spare ammo, because you forgot? No. Then, you know, it's like I have a little girl that comes here every year. She has a wheelchair. I take her right up on the deck and just dump her out. And people who haven't been here before, they go, oh, my God, he dumped her on the ground. It's a poor crippled lady. Yeah, how would you fight a crippled chick? Like, I dump her out of the ground, kick the shit out of her, take all her stuff, okay? It's like, got to practice it.